Several years of research on nano water conducted in Boleswaviets has allowed it not only to be documented and examined for its excellent beneficial health features, but also to develop technology allowing the declusterization of water anywhere thanks to special small low temperature plasma chambers. The Institute of Plasma and Vacuum Machinery of the company Stomadent is able to place the nano water machine into a locker or container and store it at a client's place of choice. Thanks to this, cows can drink nano water or tomatoes can be watered with it. It can also be used to irrigate football stadium turfs. Authorities in this field are amazed with the results and foresee an interesting and bright future for this technology. On a farm in the Verkhovolska province, three hectares of tomatoes are watered with nano water. This experiment is conducted to verify the properties of nano water, make plants healthier and increase the efficiency of food production. We want to try it out to see how it would behave in the cultivation of typical tomatoes, what we could obtain and achieve this way and what it might help us with how the plants would behave after nanowater, whether they would be more resistant to pests and diseases. We also hope that the production will be more efficient. For us, it is important for the plants to be resistant to, for example, grey mould and fungi that cause us problems. We want the plants to be in excellent condition. There is one priority healthier food. I hope that the food will be even healthier and more environmentally friendly after using nano water. 350 cows in this cow shed drink nano water. The employees of this modern embryonic breeding center in Kamienic Zomkowicki themselves can already see results. Our basic objective isn't to produce as much milk as possible, but to achieve the best conditions for a cow, which is a longer lifespan, better health and a better quality of milk. We have assessed that this program is very good, it would bring us results and it is worth investing in. We have built a new cow shed for 350 milk cows and we can see that with the progress of the efficiency of a cow's milk yield, the amount of problems with other diseases increase. This nano water, which we are using at the moment, we hope will contribute to limiting the amount of antibiotics used, expenses for for veterinary treatment and that it will remedy our situation. Staff at the centre can already see the first results. Already there are first noticeable effects. The animals really are healthier. There are fewer cases of udder inflammation and lameness. It seems to us that we have hit the jackpot. The results are the condition of the cattle has improved, the animals are healthier, more active. The properties of nano water and the possibilities of using it for breeding have interested an authority in the field of cattle breeding, Professor Tadeo Schulz from the University of Environmental and Life Sciences in Rotswap. According to the professor, we should not be afraid of innovations in breeding. Declusterized water is nothing new in nature. The water treatment method developed in companies of Nantes and Stomadent is simply a form of restoring its original excellent properties. We should not be afraid of any innovation. We need to carefully look at every innovation and check whether it is good for us. The method used here occurs in nature. It is not something artificial. It occurs in nature but has never been used for production purposes. It turns out that, for example, the water extracted from a glacier is a much higher quality than the water that we obtain from underground, rivers and other places. That water is better, healthier, and in the case of nano water, we have as if a restoration of such a form of water. Another interesting usage of nano water in cultivation can be using it to strengthen football turfs, which are very vulnerable to shading and damage. 
Professor Carol Volsky, Head of the Department of Shaping Agrosystems and Landscape Architecture of the University of Environmental and Life Sciences, has been dealing with grasslands and grassy sports surfaces for years, using grasses in recreation. For years, he has also been researching nanowater. This project is an innovation on a global scale. This technology allows for very large savings and very many usages in environmental protection. For several years, we have been testing nanowater in combination with various chemical substances to improve the functional and visual quality of sports grass turfs. We also use nanowater in the case of the production of fodder grasses to increase the production of biomass. Experiments show that the visual usage and bonitational qualities of these football turfs after using nanowater are much better. It has better and faster germination, greater turf smoothness and always has a better dark green colour permanence. We achieve a greater resistance to exploitation for intensive use wear and tear. This grass is always in good condition. We do not lose its usage properties. We do not need to replace the turf once or twice a year, even when extremely used. The pitch can be exploited for longer, even two to three years in the case of heated turfs. The first football clubs are already considering using nanowater to reduce the costs of turf maintenance. Nano water is a way of lowering the costs not only for football, livestock or crops. The possibilities of its usage and its potential are great. The amount of usages and benefits for nano water is limited only by one's imagination. <laughs>